Hey Learning Birds, this is Mr. Ozarka with another lesson brought to you by LearningBird.com. If you have any questions about the following video, you can email me at mrozarka at gmail.com. All right, here we go. This is a video about estimating and rounding decimals. The first important concept to understand in terms of estimating and rounding is why we do it. The reason we do it is to make the number a little easier to understand and communicate. A good example of this is the human population of the Earth. There are about 7 billion people on Earth. This is a lot easier to say than 7,128,652,143. The number 7 billion gets its point across well enough without having to worry about the smaller, less meaningful numbers. That being said, let's figure out how to do this ourselves. The next important concept to understand is when to round up and when to round down. The numbers 0 through 9 are what you base the rounding on. The exact middle of 0 through 9 is between the 4 and the 5. This is our cutoff point for whether you round up or down. If the number is 4 or less, the place value directly to the left is supposed to be rounded down. In contrast, if the number is 5 or more, that place value is supposed to be rounded up. The place value that is, is to be rounded is indicated in the problem. Whatever place value is to be rounded, the rounding is based off the number directly to the right of that place value. Here are some examples to solidify your understanding. Number 1 says to round 213 to the nearest tens place. You need to look at the number directly to the right of the tens place, which is the ones place. The number is 3, and since it is less than 5, the number 213 needs to be rounded to 210. Number 2 says to round 1,583 to the nearest hundreds place. You need to look at the number directly to the right of the hundreds place, which is the tens place. The number is 8, and since 8 is greater than 4, the number needs to be rounded to 1,600. Number 3 says to round 1.63 to the nearest tenths place. You need to look at the number directly to the right of the tenths place, which is the hundredths place. The number is 3, and since it is less than 5, the number needs to be rounded to 1.6. Number 4 says to round to the nearest hundredths place. You need to look at the number directly to the right of the hundredths place, which is the thousandths place. The number is 9, and since it is greater than 4, the number needs to be rounded up to 12.77. So that's a video about estimating and rounding decimals. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know. And if you thought this lesson helped you, please be sure to click This Was Helpful. For other great lessons, be sure to check out learningbird.com.